In this video, I want to show you how to work with different drop shadows in SwiftUI. The first one with the default style, and then you can also use the color and opacity, as well as a color drop shadow to add more depth and contrast to your user interface. Let's start with a simple text. And this is going to be using a font title and it's bold. Now I'm going to create a card. So I'm going to embed this in the V stack and I'm going to set the frame to width 300 and height 400. I'm also going to add a background that's going to be of color white. So since it's on white, it's not very visible. And I'm going to add a corner radius of 20. So this is white on white and typically you want to use a shadow to differentiate between two colors that are very similar. The drop shadow is going to be helping with that issue. So let me add a drop shadow dot shadow parentheses. I'm going to set the radius to 20. And now you can see the drop shadow. This is the default style or the drop shadow modifier. And you can change the range of it from small to big. Now, if you want to customize this more, we're going to retype it. And I'm going to select the four options here, including the color, radius, X, and Y values. By default, it's going to use a full black at 100% opacity. And this is not good for a drop shadow. It's typically too strong. When it comes to drop shadows, you want to set it to less than 30%. So one thing that I like to do to make it super flexible is to set the color first. And because I have my type, I can apply dot opacity on top of that and set it to 0.3. So this is going to look a lot better. And secondly, I can set the radius to 20. The X position, you don't want to touch it, always keep it to zero. And the Y position, you want to set it to roughly half of the radius. In this case, it's going to be 10. So now we have a beautiful drop shadow with a light that comes from the top. On top of this, you can have multiple drop shadows and this is pretty common in a lot of UIs. So I'm going to add another drop shadow using the four values. Again, color dot black dot opacity 0. Point, let's say two. The combined drop shadows, you don't want to get it over 50%. So right now 0.2 plus 0.3 is about 50% drop shadow. And you can set the radius for the second drop shadow to be less. So let's say five x zero and the Y position to two. We have two drop shadows that add even more contrast between the foreground color and the background color. What if I have a colored background with a text? So let me set this to pink as a background. And when you have this pink background, you can see that the text has less contrast. Typically, when you have a colorful background or a pastel background, you want to use a white text instead. So I'm going to set the foreground color to dot white. Now it's going to look a lot better. But on top of that, if you want to add more contrast to the text, you can add dot shadow and just set the radius to let's say 10. So this adds a little bit more contrast to your text, making it more readable. Last, what I want to show you is that you can use this technique of having color plus opacity on a contextual shadow. So a colorful shadow using the same color as the card background itself. So I can just change from black to pink. And there you go. You have a glowy drop shadow. So I can change on the second drop shadow to pink as well. And now we have a beautiful card that has a colorful glowy drop shadow and we can apply to the text, to the buttons and to the cards to make them stand out more and add depth to our user interface. 
I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next video.